Steichen Highway as well as the Terrace Kitimat Highway from Kitimat to Terrace is the northwesternmost highway in the Canadian province of British Columbia. A scenic route through some of the province's most isolated areas. The highway first gained designation as British Columbia Highway 37 in the year 1975. At that time, its southern terminus was at the community of New Hazelton on the BC Highway 16, the Yellowhead Highway. In 1975, with the completion of a new bridge over the Kitimat River, the highway's Yellowhead Junction was relocated to a point on Highway 16 just south of the site of Kitwanga. Highway 37 was then extended south to Kitimat in 1986 superseding what was then designated Highway 25. At the north end, the highway briefly stretches into the Yukon, becoming Yukon Highway 37. Highway 37 starts its 874 kilometers, 543 miles, journey in the south at Kitimat. 59 kilometers, 37 miles, North Highway 37 reaches Terrace, where it merges onto the Yellowhead Highway. The Yellowhead coincides with Highway 37 east for 91 kilometers, 57 miles, to Kitwanga Junction, where the Yellowhead diverges east. North of the Yellowhead Kitwanga Junction, Highway 37 travels 76 kilometers, 47 miles, to Cranberry Junction and then another 80 kilometers, 50 miles, north to Mazyadin Junction, where Highway 37A begins and heads west via Bear River Pass to Stewart and Hyder, Alaska. Highway 37 travels north through the Skeena Mountains for 333 kilometers, 207 miles, to the Continental Divide communities of Edmonton and June. Biscuit, Andes Lake, which straddles the Steichen and these river basins. Another 116 kilometers, 72 miles, north and Highway 37 reaches Jade City, where a junction to the former asbestos mining community of Kassar is located. North of Jade City, Highway 37 travels another 120 kilometers, 75 miles, to its crossing of the 60th parallel into the Yukon Territory, becoming Yukon Highway 37 and terminating at a junction with the Alaska Highway near Upperly at just 3.4 kilometers, 2.1 miles, later. According to the British Columbia Ministry of Transportation, most of the route is hard surface, either pavement or sea outgoat, with approximately 1 km 0.6 miles, of gravel. The Highway 37 of today is the result of highway extension projects began in 1959. Originally, a roadway extended south from the Alaska Highway to serve the Kassar Mining District, eventually reaching the East Lake and joining the road to Telegraph Creek, sometimes referred to as Highway 51, but not signed as such. To the south, logging roads extended north almost as far as Mazyadin Junction. By 1968, the route of what is now 37A extended past Mazyadin Junction North. This was done to allow for asbestos from Kassar to be shipped to market via sea from Stewart. 5. By the middle of 1972, only a few miles remained to be built between Mazyadin Junction and Iskut. Four bicyclists, whose journey from Alaska to Montana was chronicled in a May 1973 National Geographic article, Brave the Muddy Gap. Once this route was completed, travelers only had to contend with limited hours for using the logging roads south of Mazyadin Junction, roads which were upgraded during the 1970s. The completion of a new bridge over the Skeena River at Kitwanga in mid-November 1975 gave better access to the Yellowhead Highway. 6. Work continued through the mid to late 70s to upgrade the stretch of highway. 
The Highway 37 corridor is slated for infrastructure enhancements as resource extraction activities increase in the northwest region of British Columbia. The Northwest Transmission Line was constructed by BC Hydro and runs from Terrace, British Columbia to Bob Quinn Lane, largely paralleling the highway. Major Intersections The Nascar, who lived around the Ness River, called the head of Portland Canal scam accounts, meaning safe house or strong house, probably because it served them as a retreat from the harassment of the Hader and pulling it from the outer coast. They traveled in the area seasonally to pick berries and hunt birds. It and the rest of the Portland Canal had previously been the domain of the Tsetsot people, also called the Scam Accounts Indians, or Jitsa Point in the Sky, an Athapaskan people who became decimated by war and disease and were driven out of the Stuart area by either Hader or the Sky in 1856-57. The Portland Canal was first explored and named in July 1793 by Captain George Vancouver in honor of William Cavendish Bentinck, 3rd Duke of Portland, 1738-1808, Home Secretary from 1794-1801. Vancouver met two friendly native people at the current site of Stewart. The area around the Portland Canal was again explored in 1896 by Captain D.D. Gaylard of the United States Army Corps of Engineers, after whom the Gaylard cut in the Panama Canal was later named. Two years after Gaylard's visit, the first prospectors and settlers arrived. Among them was D.J. Ray, for whom the creek and the mountain in the area are named. The Stewart brothers arrived in 1902. In 1905, Robert M. Stewart, the first postmaster, named the town Stewart. Gold and silver mining dominated the early economy. Nearby Hyder, Alaska, boomed with the discovery of rich silver veins in the Upper Salmon River Basin in 1917 and 1918. Hyder became an access and supply point for the mines, while Stewart served as the port for Canadian mining activity, which was centered on the town of Premier, which was accessed by a 14 miles, 23 kilometers, road from Hyder. Other mines in the area were the Jumbo, BC Silver, Red Cliff, and Porter, Idaho. More large camps were south of Stewart at Annox and Maple Bay. Stewart had a population of about 10,000 citation needed prior to World War I, which then declined to about 700 in 2000. As of 2005, its population had reduced to less than 500. Disney's Eight Below, starring Paul Walker and Jason Biggs, was partially filmed here. The exterior shots from John Carpenter's science fiction classic The Thing were filmed within Salmon Glacier. Stewart is accessible by highway from the British Columbia Highway System, via Highway 37A, by boat through the Portland Canal, or by air through Stewart Airport. West of Stewart is Hyder, Alaska, which is only 3 kilometers, 2 miles, from the town. Northwest of Stewart, and accessible only by way of Hyder, is Premier, British Columbia, notable for being in Canada, but only accessible through a portion of the United States that is only accessible from Canada. East of the town is Merseyadin Junction, which is 61 kilometers, 38 miles, from the town. Also east is Kitwanka, British Columbia, which is located 218 kilometers, 135 miles, from the town, and is Lake, British Columbia, which is located 392 kilometers, 244 miles, north of Stewart. It is the northernmost point on Ontario, Canada's Pacific coast. The town of Stewart sits at the head of the Portland Canal, a steep, narrow ocean fjord that forms a natural boundary between British Columbia and Alaska, with a current year-round 
population of approximately 500. Stewart has all the amenities of a larger community, including restaurants, motels, gas stations, bakeries, and museums. Before the stock market crash of 1929, Stewart was a boom town of more than 10,000 people. It was the base for those working in the enormous and fabulously rich Premier Gold and Silver Mine, the Big Missouri Mine and the Riverside Mine. The town's colorful history is now chronicled in the Stewart Historical Museum, as well as a number of restored heritage buildings that are marked by historic signage. The Stewart Hyder area offers an excellent range of outdoor recreational opportunities. Charter boats and guides will take you out on the bountiful waters of the Portland Canal to fish for salmon or halibut, or journey with you down the canal into an eco paradise filled with bears, porpoise, mountain goats, and deacons. Stewart and Hyder have become recognized as a filming hotspot in the Northwest. Five major Hollywood films have been partially or completely shot in this area. As well, the scenery is regularly used as a backdrop for commercials. The area is also rich with stories of extraterrestrials, mountain tales and mining lore. Other attractions include, an estuary boardwalk with a spectacular view of the Portland Canal, a golf facility with a mountain backdrop, and Bear Glacier, visible from Highway 37A into Stewart. For more information on Stewart and the surrounding area visit, the District of Stewart.